advanced our technology gets. Yeah, and one of the things that's so fascinating is you were operating during the peak of your operational career and in the middle mm -hmm. of these two global war on terrorism, these counterterrorism centric wars, but you were primarily tasked with counterproliferation. So you're working on these big geostrategic issues. So I'm curious now, like when you reflect both at that moment and then fast forward to today in real time, um, there's some Venn diagram intersection of those two, but what, what is the vampire bat of today? Like, what, what, what scares you and what do we need to take apart and understand? You know, funnily enough, I, I, I think there, there are a range of very um, serious threats that exist and, and remain to U.S. national security from outside of our borders, right? You know, there are the rogue states, there are our geopolitical adversaries, there are the terror groups. Um, at the terror groups in particular have, have splintered and um, become a lot harder to combat. Um, but we have one of the best, if not the best, military and intelligence infrastructure in the world to predict, prevent, respond to those attacks. The vampire bat that keeps me up at the moment is the threat that the fractures we ourselves are creating internally inside of our house um, have the potential to, to, to create for our national security. You know, every school kid learns that Lincoln said a house divided cannot stand, right? And our adversaries learned it too. And I think when they rightly figured out that they had been outgunned and outspent on the battlefield and couldn't possibly win in a traditional sense, uh, it is not surprising that we have seen many of them, not just Russia, many of them, both both states and uh, non-state actors, um, move in different ways to fuel both sides of wedge issues in this country. And, it, you know, it, it is astonishing to me how we play right into their hands, how when I turn on the news, I see people retreat to their respective corners and kind of indulge in this dopamine hit of surrounding themselves by people that agree with them and lobbing grenades at the other side without realizing that there's a reason our adversaries aren't funding just one or the other. They're funding the extremes of every single issue. And it's because none of those issues in and of themselves have the power to bring us down. It's the division between uh, between them that really has that that uh, power to fracture our house from the inside. And that is something that our military and intelligence infrastructure can't save us from. You know, that's something that is on each and every one of us. And I really do believe that finding common ground with one another right now is the greatest act of patriotism any of us can engage in because th there there is no military might that can save us from tearing ourselves apart from the inside. Yeah.